Hi, are you ready for some Valentine's Day? Um, this is Jilly Bling of JillyBling.com and I would love to share with you um, a few projects for all those important people in your family um, that you'd like to give a Valentine's Day to, but it doesn't need to be all mushy. So I'm thinking four different groups. Of course, there's the husband or the significant other. There's granddaughter, grandson, and girlfriends. I know we already did Galentine's, um, but this is just a different kind of flavor of girlfriend Valentine. So I'll show you the projects. And these will be in the box, and you can make any of these, but we'll be making the husband one today. So this one is just a generic, love, you make me happy, to a best friend a girl could ever ask for. And that could be to anyone. That could be to anyone. That's pretty generic. And a lot of these products are retired, but the product um, today we'll be using is current. Um, so you could substitute easily current stuff for old stuff or whatever you have. Um, this one is for the grandson, to an amazing grandson. And I know this is a little bit frilly, but because it's in manly colors, I'm hoping it works. Happy Valentine's Day, and that certainly is manly. And I was thinking, what color should I have as an accent color? My first thought was blue, but I can see an 11-year-old grandson saying, Mom or Grandma, that's just, you're too smushy. So I was trying to make it kind of manly, hence gray. This is just another, it could be for a grandson or um, girl or boy. Very simple, but nice. Then this one is, okay, maybe my favorite. Um, to an extraordinary granddaughter for you. Happy Valentine's Day. And again, I'm not trying to get too smushy. Therefore, I'm using the crumb cake paper. A little bit of pink, but it isn't all glittery and all pink, 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 like Galentine's. That was lots of pink going on. So smart, so fun, so sweet, and so wonderful. That's great for a granddaughter. It's a little bit smushy, but not too bad. And these are some little flowers that I had, and they work perfect here. Okay, so this one is for a girlfriend. The little bow on there. And again, it has the same verse in it, but that could be for a girlfriend too. I would say that to some of my girlfriends. Okay, so those are all the different flavors. But today, let's do the husband one. Um, the sets we'll be using, this one is in the current catalog. You could get it right away. Um, the ones I used yesterday, the Galentine one, um, it's from Hearts and Kisses, and that one will be available January 5th. Um, and anything that you purchase, $50 or more, you earn a free celebration set, and it can be from the annual catalog. So this is meant to be stamp set. We'll primarily be using this set. A grandkid, I pulled this one out more for the grandson and the granddaughter verse, but I really ended up liking this for the inside. And dies, Stitch Be Mind, be using a lot of this um, die set, which coordinates with the meant to be. Stitch So Sweetly is good for the verses. Um, this little scalloped rectangle stitched is perfect. So we'll be using that. And this is retired, but you could use any numbers and any letters that you have. And this one is the letter set. Large letters, large number. If you find you just have to have it, I'm sure you can find it on eBay. Um, this, I have it on three different magnet sheets. It's a huge set, 37 pieces. And I know when I got it, it was over 100 I think $120. Something ridiculous, but I love it. I used it over and over. Um, back to these cards. I did most of them as for you. Some of them are love. I thought the love would be good as a husband one. And the for you would be more for the kid, granddaughter, grandson, adult kid, because maybe they text and they say that all the time. Okay, let's get started. Um, this designer paper is current right now. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called In Good Taste. It's a huge pack of paper. A little bit costly, but it has, I think, double what most packages of paper have. So we'll be using this for today's project. And I wanted something like 
a key to my heart. And I know this is more of, this goes with the geared up garage, but I kind of somehow want to incorporate this because I have quite a few of these. So you can if you want to or not. This is going to be for the little hearts. I want to put some of these on here. Um, this is going to be for the words. So let's start from the bottom and work our way up. I just put lotion on my hands and it's maybe not dry all the way. Oh, I didn't pull out any tools. Okay, there's that. And let's do a layer here. Everyone needs tools. You know this um, wood grain paper? I'm really liking it. I'm thinking instead of the grid paper down here with the floral on it, maybe I'll change it up. Maybe that'll be a good thing to do for the new year. Happy New Year! What time did you go to bed? Not admitting I went to bed kind of early. Then was woke up promptly at midnight because of everyone else's festivities. Okay, so this is Miriam Rouleau. That looks like paint plaster stuff. I love this paper. Every pattern in it. Uh, because this is a little dark down here, I'm going to have that as the bottom. Maybe ground the card. Okay. So, the words on this little white paper. I'm going to have it say, meant to be. Should I do that in Merlot or red? Um, because the outline is going to be in red, I'm let me do Merlot. I didn't pull that color out. Merlot. I don't know that I've used this pad. Well, I was about to stamp it, but let's see how will it fit. Oh, I need to mention something about that. So we'll be using both of these. This one is going to be this fancy outline right here is this one. I say I have little paper shards in it. That's not good. I know who didn't clean up. One more. Okay, one more. Good. Um, this die right here is to be used for the solid heart, the Happy Valentine's Day white heart. But when you look at this, you're like, that doesn't look very solid. See the scallop edge? But when you flip it over, this cuts solid on the inside. This does cut scalloped and stitched, but it cuts. So when I cut my white paper, there's going to be a heart just laying in here that I'll need to pick out. <clears throat> I'm going to check my garbage can. It looks like this. Because I cut the paper small, we won't be using it. Um, but just so you know, when you lay this die on your white paper, You'll probably be saying, uh, that's a really close fit, but you just need to worry about the inside part of the die. That's what's going to do the cutting. Okay, so back to where we were. So meant to be, I'm going to stamp on here. The reason I'm pulling all this out is, first of all, it's going to go right about there. The inside is perfectly clean. It's not hanging off the edge. But meant to be, that will fit just fine in there. But if you go to do the Happy Valentine's Day, that's a little bit of a challenge to fit into there. So this one, you could see I kind of did it off to an angle. This one, I did it straight on and see how close it is. 
So you can stamp first and then cut, but you might have to have the boards up a little bit high. I have a note that I'll put in the box. I say stamp a little bit higher because see how I was chopping off part of the Valentine's Day words? And then here, FYI, one die equals two pieces, piece one and piece two. If you're aware of all that, there won't be a problem. Okay, so let's do meant to be in Merlot. I think it'll fit right in there. The Valentine's Day, it's too tight. It won't fit in there. Well, that's pretty. Okay, so I'll close this up. So, through the big shot, I will do this piece on the white. I'll do the red one with this. This is going to go on the inside. Key to my heart is going to go somewhere cute. This is going to be the words. This I wanted to say love. L The heart will be the O E. Love. Okay. Like that. And I want to do this one too. Remember last year when we did that big, full card front size paper? And it was, to say the least, a pain to pick it out. I'm hoping this one will be a little bit more user friendly. So with all those die cuts, we could probably get started. So it's time to do some die cutting. Scooch all this over. I'm going to do all those pieces. Baby boss. Um... My little t spool thing. I don't know that. I don't know. Might need that. And we need just these. The clear and the white. Yeah, that sticks better on there. <clears throat> Usually I'm doing it on the paper. And that doesn't work so good. It's just a little thing. I'll pick out pieces here in just a minute. Oh, maybe not. Look at those hearts. Okay, those hearts are going on here somewhere. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, do this one. So these hearts, that's why I have this thing. I was trying to hide it because I'm embarrassed about it. Just an empty tape spool. I use it all the time. Okay, so got that done. Next is meant to be, maybe we could do these two at one time. Can't see that. Hold on here. Meant to be straight up and down. And again, I'm placing this to center it against the words, but I want the inside of the heart. That's all that really matters. Okay, now I'm going to crank it backwards. Can I do that? Sure. Cute. Fancy. It's like a hook. Let go. Okay, I'll clean that out. So this one, 
Notice how it's white in there? That's that little extra piece. And I did use this extra piece on one of them, and yeah, it was partially chopped off. I'll find it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. In case you choose to do that card, I think it was a grandson one. Okay. See, this one I was trying to keep it a little bit simple because the paper was busy. So putting that right over the top, seeing the wood grain through, not a good thing. So I took the heart, just cut it out in white, and that little rim that I just threw away, that extra piece, I just layered that underneath there to make um, the detail of the gray detailed heart show through a little bit more. Okay, so clean off this thing, and then we'll do the letters. These right here. So when you're doing the letters, you could do them however they fit on there, but the um, direction of the wood grain paper, um, if you're a little OCD, it's important. Because if you would just put this at an angle, then your wood grain would be crooked and that would drive me a little bit crazy. Therefore, I assume it would drive you crazy. So do the best you can to make them, um, um, What's that word we learned in algebra? Make it perpendicular. Okay, and again, these letters, the cutting um, surface is on the inside. I'll show you. Right there is where we cut. Not the outside of this, but the inside of it. Love. Come on, you can go. There we go. I wanted to hold the dies in place. I didn't want them to shift because I don't want crooked letters. Woohoo! Party! Okay, so we are done with Baby Boss. To where we were. So the letters are done. Oh, and when you're working on a project box, if ever you're running low on something, for example, one of the quite curvy box um, was running low on dimensionals, just let me know so that the next person who gets it, they won't run into any problems. Or if um, you're coloring, and the markers are running low. Let me know if one isn't working. And I'll get I'll get a new one. Okay, this has lots of pieces in it. I could pull out the die brush. But if ever you're too lazy, just poke them. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I should have some of these things done in advance rather than making you watch and wait. You know how to die cut. You know how to poke pieces out. See, if I had a real exciting life, I could tell you about some trip I'm going on. But I don't. I'm a regular people. So you all know my son moved out. I'm working in his room. That's kind of exciting to me. I'm going to paint it, get it all clean. The baseboard, got that clean. I'm going to sand some of it. Wherever there was a nail hole, we put caulking on there. I just need to sand off any excess caulking before I do the painting again. And paint the walls. I don't know what he did in there, but some of the walls, how, how do walls get dirty? Who does that? And the rest of the house, my walls aren't dirty. I don't, I don't know what was going on in there. Anyhow, that's exciting. I'm going to make it really pretty and really girly. I bought a new bed, which is just a headboard and frame. 
And then the day after Christmas, went out and bought a mattress. And that came a few days ago. Bought a carpet right after Thanksgiving. And that's been rolled up in the corner. And of course a carpet pad. Then I had to go to Pottery Barn. I got the prettiest quilt. Well, it's not really a quilt. I guess it is. But it's just more for an accent color. Um, and then all these shams. Well, that came out easy. Remember the one last year? Okay, this is a winner. What do we have? You know, all these little pieces. Let me get rid of all these before I capture and gather these hearts. I like these hearts. Boy, I thought this would be a quick video. Hang in there with me. We'll get there. We'll, we'll make the manly card. Oh, I could put them on here. <gasps> that looks nice. Here's the O. I think we could get another bunch of hearts out of here. Or maybe even somebody wants to do their letters. Instead of in the wood grain, <clears throat> you could do them in the Merlot. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet, though. I think Mama is going to use this on her calendars. She's already busy working on her calendars for later in the fall. Okay, somehow this is going to go on here somewhere. I'm not seeing it. I'm not sure quite yet. Well, that's kind of good. Maybe at an angle. No, this is this is not an angle thing. And then all these little these little things. Where's my picker upper thingy? You all have one of these, right? Picker upper thingy. This side is pokey, and this side is mini spatula. Good tool to have. Okay. Picker upper. Well, you know what? I should come up with a plan first to get rid of all those little not heart pieces. Isn't it nice to be working on stuff other than Christmas? <gasps> it's so refreshing. Okay, time to start putting stuff together. Oh, and I've got that little key somewhere real safe too. Do I have to watch the video to find it? Or maybe get another one? Or did it stick to my magnet sheets? <laughs> I lost the little key. Key to my heart. Okay, well, I know I'll find it. Oh, I didn't throw it away. Little keys. <sighs> okay. So, this, how about right in the middle, I think. These, I know I want them stuck together. I know I want it popped up. So, I am going to use dimensionals to stick these together. Big dimensionals. There's the key. I found it. It was in the dimensionals. How was I supposed to find that? That's crazy. I want big dimensionals. So I'll put four dimensionals on here. 
That should be good enough to pop it up and then hold the white heart in place. Then I want dimensionals on these, but I'll use minis. I think I need a plan first. L. This is just going to go in the bottom middle. I know that for sure. So to stick this on, let's use liquid glue. And I'm going to focus mostly on the outside edge, not the whole thing. Because once I put the words on, it will hold it even more than this liquid glue. So just on the edges, not 100%. You could cover it if you want, but maybe 50% of the edges. Because my thumb is right here in the way, I'm not going to do it right there. And then maybe a little bit on the inside. Good enough. And that will go in the bottom, maybe up a little bit. Okay. Good. And next is, maybe I'll have the um, LVE flat so that the beam mine can be popped up. So I'm going to get those in place. Where am I going to put the key? I'd hang that on with something too. Maybe I need some linen thread. I think I need something light though to kind of brighten it up. Can't be girly. Linen thread is kind of boy-like. I'm going to find linen thread. Hold on. Linen thread. So for the key, how about that much? What's that? Six inches or so? Fold it in half. And then I'll fold it in half again in this little loop through. <clears throat> Will be kind of like a, a key fob. Just something to hold it in place. Because if you just stick the key on there, that wouldn't be too good. Okay. That's kind of cute. And then I'll cut the loop. And I like how those are all different lengths. I'm not sure where it's going to go yet. Maybe I could hang from right about there. Okay, so let's see, we decided these are going to go flat. So I'm going to start with the two outside edges, put glue on them, and give them a little, um, a little bit from the edge, and then do the inside pieces. But the um, L and the E are going to go first. So what is that, like an eighth of an inch from the edge of the, um, the Merlot paper? Okay, now I'll do this one. And it's nice that this has the line going across in the pattern of the designer paper because that will help me with placement of my letters. And this doesn't have to be <clears throat> for a guy. If you put girly words on it and throw a little bit of the pink in here, it will be good. Okay, so this is going to go here, which allows perfect room for the V. Okay, 
this. I'm still trying to figure out <clears throat> how to put that key on there. Does the key even belong there? I like that idea, key to my heart kind of thing, because only husbands would get that, or significant others. You wouldn't really do that to a girlfriend, grandson. How's that look? Straight? Okay, so for the key, I'm just going to put it there. I like the idea of the key. And with that, how about a glue dot? Boy, I am just not prepared. Well, from a distance, the card looks good. Glue dots. So, and there's an upside and a downside to the key. The upside has more detail. Meant to be. Boys like keys anyhow. Voice like car keys. Okay, that is really cute. So, oh, well, these little hearts, can they go somewhere? Am I going to make it too, too busy? I think it's going to be too busy. Okay, so for the inside, clean up my, I might need to get more linen thread for the project box. Okay, so for the inside, I'll put this here so we can see it. Um, meant to be. I need to say Valentine's Day on there. And the set, I love our life together. That's cute. Okay, how about just that? I love our life together. Happy Valentine's Day. And Merlot. Should I do a neutral in there? I have Slate and Crumb. How about Slate, because that's a bit gray. You know, maybe I love our life together could be mixed in at the bottom. That's a plan. Okay, so Happy Valentine's Day is going to be in red. Okay, and then there'll be Merlot hearts down here, and I love our life together. So I'm going to put I'm trying to make it straight. And then I'll fill in the hearts as part of the bottom. So, glue, liquid glue. I'll put lots of them on because I have lots of them. It'd be terrible to throw them away. These are all going to be hearts. Probably should have counted them before I started making dots. I might be putting more on. Picker upper tool. Do a big one. Oh, and it can hang over a little bit because I have those borders on the inside. Medium one. There's kind of a an upside and a downside to die cuts. I'm looking for the ones that are upright before I start flipping them over. I think I need some little ones in here though. Oh, 
Ooh, I hope I didn't do too many dots. Dots of glue for the hearts. Probably should count them. Okay, if you're doing this project, you could count them. Or you could wing it. Trying to make them different levels. I don't want them all in one straight line. It's random. If I'm doing another big one. Okay, I'm going to do the little ones and then I'll go back and pick up the, I think I need a big one over here. So in the occasion catalog, I'm not sure if they're calling it occasion. The catalog that begins on January 5th, there's all kinds of um, Valentine's Day sets that I have. And I have the die set. I have the whole bundle. I want to use those. But it comes with this really pretty paper. And it's kind of elegant. And I know I've already done two rounds of um, Valentine's here. But I think maybe, maybe it could be Valentine's and or wedding because it's just it's so pretty I have to use it so that's going to be coming next okay I got a little carried away with glue dots and hearts you don't have to do this much maybe you don't want to do this much okay a little bit heavier. Maybe I'll do a few over here just to balance it out a little. But yeah, got a little carried away. Just one more. Need some glue. Okay, but it's going to be a little one. There it is. Okay, extra hearts. I'll make a little tub for those. That's really cute, though. It's nice in there. Look how matchy-matchy it is. Coming together. So, I will put pictures of all the projects, insides and outs, on my blog. And I'll be doing that soon here. Sometimes it takes me a few days. Um, so that you'll have them to decide if you want this project box. And this is for all the people in your life. Everyone deserves a Valentine's Day card. There it is. What do you think? I like it. That's for the husband. I love our life together. Happy Valentine's Day. Meant to be. Okay. Have a great day. And until next time, bye.